So I'm uh, Danica Čurčić. I'm an actress, uh, born in Belgrade, Serbia, but grew up in Copenhagen, Denmark. And we're here in Zagreb on the set of uh, the next Mew Mew's Women's Tales. Stana is a uh, very ambitious, very career-minded, um, strong woman who uh, is about to take over her father's company, is married to uh, Stjepan, has a son with him, and um, Stjepan also works in this family business. And the film takes place the evening, let's say the height of her career, which is uh, the celebration of her kind of her taking over. Stane is a, is, a, is a woman who's very ambitious. She's worked hard uh, to get to where she is, but she's constantly struggling to be in the shadow of, of her father. And she's constantly struggling to prove that she is uh, better than the son they never had. The, in the time of the, of, um, the evening where we, we're at, at the, in the film, She's, um, it's her big night, and it's uh, the night where she's taking over the company. Um, but she's realizing that, that she basically has no power and probably will never have it, even though she's been given a, uh, a let's say, a, a CEO position. She's still in the shadow of, of the men, the male tribe behind her. A woman in a very kind of male environment um, so I think there's a lot she's, she's been having to kind of, you know, push down and, and hold back. And uh, a lot of that comes out <laughs> this evening <laughs> in the movie. And, you know, we're also in a, in a Croatian-American kind of community. So it's also a very, it's a religious community. It's a, it's a, it's a community where, where, where the family really is... Um, dictating your life. I mean, I think the story is not just about an awakening of this woman, of Stane, but it's also really about, the, about a whole family and a whole tribe around her. It's, you know, it's a story about betrayal and it's a story about losing everything and winning everything at the same time. I met Antonetta um, for the shooting of Murina uh, some years ago and um, I, uh, she contacted me with an audition back then and um, yeah, we started talking and we, we had an instant gr a great connection. What I really love about her and what I think is really incredible also with this, even though we have such a short amount of time for this movie, we did a lot of rehearsals. This we did as well in Murina, which is incredible, you know, to, to really, it's really needed for these like family relations to be built up. Um, authentically, you know, that we have these rehearsals. And uh, that's been a great pleasure. And it's, it really gives a lot, of, a, a lot of depth, I think, in a short amount of time. So I'm very grateful to work with her again. I think the metaphor of the movie is, you know, that's up to the audience to feel and up to the director. For me, you know, my, my focus is, you know, the kind of emotional journey of a character, you know, and that I've been really... It's, it's been really amazing to have these rehearsals and to really, you know, for, for us, for the actors, it's really all about the relationships, you know, with the mother, with the father, with the son, with the husband. And, um, and, and, and hopefully, you know, through our interaction, that will tell a bigger story, hopefully. I heard about the women's sales through Antonetta, who called me up this January. And, uh, and I looked it up and saw most of the movies and I think it's an incredible platform. I think it's an incredible um, voice you're giving, female directors, uh, and I love that it's all over the world. Um, so so I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm incredibly grateful to be a part of it, really.